Here we go, and we're rolling. Hello, my oral communications class, and welcome to my demonstration speech. Tonight, I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to wash a cat. See, right here, we have a very docile. She's docile right now. Pretty soon, sure she's not going to be. She's really not going to like what we have going on. Um, I'm going to show you how to wash her. I I like to go by the the you know the simple oral device, right? T S A. The three things you need: towel, shampoo. An animal or asshole in this case. You see, this increases, enhances shine. So, it, you know, if we have a situation where she ends up out in the street, out, you know, outside somewhere, she shines, she's reflective for the cars, predators will be able to see her more easily, and that just takes the burden off us collectively. If you have a nice, sweet little puppy who would never do any wrong, because most of them wouldn't, you won't need gloves. But she is malicious on a good day when you're not trying to, to bathe her. So you're just going to want to take the extra precaution, go the extra mile. Um, yeah, she's really being the important one already. You're going to want to take the extra precaution, go the extra mile. So some cats, uh, and this works on dogs too, will like to listen to music. She likes romantic songs, like... Um, <laughs> um, she's always been a fan of Guns N' Roses, so if I whisper... Welcome to the jungle. We have fun games. You can feel she's already getting less struggling. There you go. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is going to happen. This is going to be part of the experience, so you have to be ready. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. ow. This is just going to be part of what happens. And that's okay. This is part of owning a pet. Ow. And see, this is what we do. We roll with the punches. We're learning together. We're learning what's a yes and what's a no. I didn't love this shirt anyway. Okay. Oh. That's okay. Ow! The has its dawn. dawn. Just like, like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Right? Right? And you're gonna... They say love is pain. And if you love your pet, you're going to be willing to bleed for them. I was. I am. And actually, Sully, while you're here, the number one tip and trick to getting an animal to do something that they don't want to do is offering food in exchange. So, Sully, if you want to bring a little treat over here for her. She hasn't earned it yet. Uh, but she's, she needs the encouragement, frankly. She needs the encouragement. It's so soft. She likes it so much. This is a trick that works for my cat. It might not work for yours. Something I would recommend is soft, light water. See? It reminds her of her mother, because it's not all at once. <laughs> okay. Right, and look, she's so well behaved, she's so sweet. It's because we sang her the song, so she earned this treat. Yeah, you want that. You want the snack here. Oh, and look how quickly she jumps on that little nibble, and she's gobbling it up. Oh, good. Oh, no, she's licking around where it was. She missed the snack. <laughs> but <laughs> distress will do. <laughs> <laughs> the stress will do these kinds of things. Do you not want it at all? Is that what you're telling me? Alright, babe. Well, that's going to be good. there for when you want it. So, you rub it in. Rub it in circles. You rub it in circles to apply. And look, she smells like lavender. She smells like she just came fresh out of the womb. Mm -hmm. Fresh Thank little you. baby. Scratch, Scratch it. it. Scratch it in. You don't want to go to that other side, Heck, You already learned what that happens when you're over there. See that? Hope you get a close look at that there. That's a healthy, happy cat coat. And that's what ultimately makes this kind of thing worth it for your pet, for your house, right? Where you might have this little sweet, this little sweet darling will smell like poop. She'll smell like, you know, some kind of death. Sometimes it takes a couple, you know, a couple people You're okay. You're okay. to keep her behaving and keep her happy. But look, in the end, she'll know. <laughs> <laughs> and now that's her. She's asking to be done. We want to. Is she done? <laughs> we want to honor that request. And if you get a close look here, the soap is out of her coat. Because now she feels naked, right? She feels exposed. She feels seen in ways that she's not used to. So we're going to get her her towel. Viv, if you want to grab the towel for her. Oh, she's a cool cat, yo. In the end, it was a hard journey for everyone. But, you know, she feels good. She looks good, she smells, she smells good. The rose is this happy, healthy, clean, 
scent free kitty. But the thorn is getting there. But isn't that part of the journey? Do you have a final comment? <laughs> so this is perfect. This is the perfect 11 minute presentation. She's happy, I'm happy, I'm gonna get a good grade. That's all we want. All right, everyone give her a la one last kiss through your computer screen. I want you all at home to give her a kiss through the computer screen. And remember, TSA, uh, towel, to towel, shampoo, animal. Every rose is going to have its thorn. But in the end, isn't that worth it? Because if you get in that plane without the TSA, you might get bombed. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> I was just gonna say that like 200 years from now, when we put chips in animals' it's brains, cut. so that like we understand their sentience and they become like full people, it's gonna be equivalent to like a video of police brutality. Yeah, like this footage for sure. Just like this is what we used to do to them. She liked it. My back is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs>